Hello, how you doing? It's Phil Thatch and I'm here today at the Hiawassee Wildlife Refuge. It is November the 20th today and Sandhill Crane season is just starting. There's quite a few down here but nowhere near as many as there will be a little bit later. And I'm here at the wrong time of day. It's almost two o'clock in the afternoon and really I should be here at sunrise but I had some other stuff I needed to do this morning. And today I've brought the Nikon Z50 and Nikon's new Z-mount super telephoto zoom lens, the 180 to 600. Really excited to be using this combination here today. And I'm going to go ahead and get started and see if I can get some shots. So far I've been mostly making photographs of birds on the ground. There's some relatively close, several yards, probably 50, maybe 60 yards away in that direction. I made a few photos of them on the ground and then finally I got uh, a, a few in flight that came by just close enough to where I could get a shot of the sandhill cranes in flight. And when I did get that shot, I noticed that my background was leaning as I followed them panning. So I switched from silent shutter or electronic shutter to mechanical shutter so my uh, rolling shutter distortion won't be a problem anymore. I started out just making photographs of some sandhill cranes that were on the ground while I was waiting for some birds to fly by and we got a immature bird on the left and an adult on the right. And here's an adult in some beautiful grass. I love that pose and I love the splotches of brown in its feathers. Here's another immature sandhill crane. It's got a wad of grass in its mouth. I think it was probably digging around for something alive in that grass. I don't think the grass is what it's looking for. And here's another sandhill crane. This is in an area where there's no grass. Lots of small insects flying around as the majestic sandhill crane is there. And this is the electronic shutter in flight shot. And the background is so thoroughly bokefied, it's hard to tell. But if you look closely, you can see that the trees are all leaning to the left where I was panning with the bird. So I turned on mechanical shutter. Working on these bird in flight shots and using a camera like the Nikon Z50 that is somewhat likely to miss flipping the focus limiter switch off of full and to six meters to infinity definitely helps because when you do miss it doesn't rack the entire way all the way back to minimum focus distance before it goes out and looks for the bird again. On this in-flight shot I went with kind of a cool edit. A lot of these edits I either went kind of with a neutral or slightly warm edit. Here's a juvenile and an adult sandhill crane in flight. And here's an adult sandhill crane in flight. I like the fall color in the foliage at the bottom of the frame. Here's another sandhill crane flying right at us. It almost looks like a torpedo with wings as it's coming at us. I like the head angle on this shot as well. And here is a much closer up shot of a sandhill crane flying to the left. You can see its nostrils in its beak. You can see right through them. And this is the sandhill turkey. This sandhill crane was kind of fluffing its feathers and the way its neck position was and the way its shape was with its feathers fluffed. I thought it looked like a turkey. Here's a family of sandhill cranes. Two of them are feeding and one is standing guard and watching the area. This next pair of shots were both in the same flyby and I'm really happy with both of these. The sandhill crane with the layers of color in the background. It's nice to be shooting from a hill and having hills in the background and you're almost at eye level with an in-flight sandhill crane. I just love the bokeh in these two shots. And here is another beautiful warm tones of a sandhill crane as it's walking in the dead grass and it still looks cool, its tones. A Carolina wren came up and landed about 15 feet away from me right here on this handrail. So I took its picture. Here's the Carolina Wren on the handrail. Just a beautiful example of a Carolina Wren. I'm always happy to get a photograph of these. I see them all the time at home from the blind. And look, it's a two-headed sandhill crane. Of course, that's not actually what it is. It's two sandhill cranes standing really close together with two different head angles. And here's a landscape photography shot from there at the gazebo. Looking down, I used the 180 millimeter end of the lens and you can see the river and you can see the nice houses across the river. And this is 24 sandhill cranes landing, another sandhill crane flying off in another direction, and a duck near the Nikon logo. That's going to do it for me here today at the famous gazebo at the Hiawassee Wildlife Refuge. Today was my first time ever shooting with the 180 to 600 here and it did really well. The Nikon Z50 is a little bit out of date, but it did pretty well too. I hope you enjoyed the content and if you did, reach down and give me a thumbs up. That really helps me out. And if you want to see some more stuff like this, subscribe and hit the notification bell 
And as always, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.